hello everyone welcome back to the channel so this is the second last video of this playlist so in this video we are going to play the music on this player.art screen first we were just playing the music at this screen but now if we click on any of the song we want to play that song here in this screen and show the artwork here so let's start so first of all to get the song we need to create a parameter so it will be final song model and let's say this is our data and this is our required so this dot data let's go back to our home dot dot so this is our home and in here when we are navigating we need to say data snapshot dot data of index and also pass the null check and we need to remove this constant also just set so just save it so let's go back to the dot player dot dot and in here this is our container so first of all let's size this so the height will be let's say 250 and the width will be 250 let's go to the here let's go to the child property and also cut this as we will need this so we need to use artwork query here so this is our query artwork widget and we need to pass the type and id so for the id we need to say data dot id and for the type we need to say artwork type dot audio okay so after this we need to pass some other properties so which is our art and wait a second okay so we need to say artwork height so this will be double dot infinity and artwork width and it will be double dot infinity and for the null artwork widget we need to pass the icon so just save it okay so here we can see an error that null is not a subtype of song so we need to go our home and in here when we are passing the data we need to pass half index let's restart once okay so if i click on any of the song here you can see that this is our artwork but as the artwork should be in the circle shape first let's remove this color and use the clip property so clip dot anti alias save layer okay so here this is our artwork you can also increase it let's say this is our 300 and 300 now let's pass the name so the name will be let's remove this string from here and it will be data dot um, name without extension and for the artist we need to say data dot artist dot to string okay so here is the name of the song and this is the artist name okay so now when we are on this screen and if we click on any of the song we want to play the song at here and we also need to change this play button so when the song is playing we need to show the pause button and when the song is paused we need to show this play button okay for that um, let's go to our circle okay so this is our circle avatar so this is our play icon here you can see so in here we need to use a property which is controller dot is playing um, have we initialized any controller let's see okay so we need to initialize the controller first so var controller as this is already initialized we can say get dot find and in here we need a player controller okay so let's go back and here for the icon we need to use a condition so controller dot if this is plain then just copy this and else and paste it okay so if this is playing so as is playing is uh, obs we need to say dot value so if this is playing we need to show a pause icon so play and it will be a pause icon dot pause okay so here we can see that we have this play button 
now we need to add the functionality to this for that let's go back and in here we need to go home the dot and let's uncomment this save it okay so let's go back to our play the dot and in here we need to pass the functionality add this okay so on the press of that icon we can check that if the controller dot is playing um, is playing that value so if the song is being played we can say controller dot audio player dot pause so it will just pause it now we need to say controller dot is playing as false else just copy this paste it and instead of this pause we can say play and this will be true save it so as we are using obs we need to use this we need to wrap this circle avatar into a widget which is our obx widget so this one and okay so wait a second okay so just save it now let's open any song for example this one so if i am clicking on the button you can see that the song is paused now so if i click on this again i hope you was able to listen so this is how you can add the functionality to the player the dot in the next video we will work on this slider and also next and previous